Hello everybody, it's Mike Les, and today I am going to show you how to calibrate the 16-speed power shift transmission on a versatile 250, 280, and 305 tractor. We can do this all through the dash of the tractor, just pushing a couple buttons and driving a tractor. So we're going to go ahead, get up in the tractor, and the tractor is cold right now. Uh, I've been setting here. So we got to get the oil warmed up first. So we're going to go ahead and start the tractor. So brake up, shift lever in neutral. Clutch pedal down, start the tractor, then we can scroll um, through the dash here, but we'll take the tractor out and drive it. And, uh, okay, so we can scroll through the dash here uh, after we start the tractor. And push the arrow across here until I get to the screen OT, 70 degrees oil temperature. So the oil is 70 degrees. We want to get it up to at least 120 degrees or so before we do the calibration. And the best way to do that, there's a couple ways, but if we drive the tractor, especially driving the tractor down the road, getting up in them taller gears, warms the oil up pretty quick, or we can hook a flow meter back in the hydraulics and uh, circulate the hydraulic oil as well. Or you can do both at the same time and really warm it up. The reason I like to drive it is that way you're shifting up and down, you're getting the oil through all the clutches. There's nine clutches in the transmission and it's going to calibrate all nine of them. So just taking the tractor out, took it out for about a six mile drive. Uh, here starting out at 70 degrees and got back I'm at 131 so to get into the calibration mode hit the select button and we're gonna go up to mode 10 once we're in mode 10 press and hold the select button and this puts us into the calibration mode so it says CP uh, clutch pedal that should be 100% so the first procedure here for the calibration we're gonna calibrate the clutch pedal just by pushing the clutch pedal all the way down and then we're gonna lift it back up. So all the way down, it's at zero. When I raise the clutch pedal all the way up, it should go to 100%. If it's not at 100%, then take an eight, I think it's an eight millimeter wrench. We're gonna adjust this in, screw that in. That's gonna adjust the potentiometer and screw that in until you're up to 100%. Okay, now that we've done that and the oil's warm, we're gonna set the parking brake. We don't have to set it real tight. We can, uh, I usually just a couple clicks and then we need to bring our tractor RPMs up to 1500 RPMs and then push the shift lever into forward. And see it says, it said CC1, now it's on CC2. It takes all about 40, 50 seconds a clutch, maybe up to a minute. And the tractor is gonna move a little bit from clutch to clutch. So it starts out, does one through nine. And here we are on clutch two, the tractor moves a little bit. Now it jumped to clutch three. And the calibration numbers there start out at 300, and as the tractor starts building pressure, you'll see them numbers climb up. Now I didn't hold the video camera on the whole time. Uh, numbers are up to 457, and it beeps at you, and then jumps to the next clutch, and so on. So it's gonna do that through all nine clutches, and you wanna be in a clear area with nobody around, because like I said, the tractor will move. Uh, do not, it's probably best to do it with an implement not hooked up to the tractor. Uh, if you have an implement hooked up to the back, uh, it's going to add weight when the tractor's trying to move, so you would not want to set your parking brake as tight. And you definitely would not want to do it with an implement in the ground or anything like that. Um, if them numbers get up, if you if you got say you got the park brake set really tight and you had something really heavy hooked to the tractor, and them calibration numbers start getting up and, uh, and hit 600, before it passes on to the next clutch, it'll cancel out the calibration. So, just gotta be careful. And I've talked to different people, different dealers. Some people set the brake tight, some will set it looser. Everyone's got their own theory what makes it shift better. But, uh, and this is something a guy could stop and do, you know, when he's running in the field and the tractor's warmed up, he could actually stop, raise his implement, and it only takes, you know, 10 minutes or so to do this calibration. And you could do it, like I said, use different park brake settings and whatnot, see what works best for you. But uh, normally, uh, in the beginning where I showed you that clutch pedal calibration, if them numbers start getting down like 90% or lower, that'll cause it to shift rough also. And the other thing, if the numbers get too low and that potentiometer is not adjusted, the tractor will not shift above ninth gear. So if you ever run into that, you have one, uh, it won't shift above ninth gear, go into this calibration mode and make sure that potentiometer is adjusted up to 100%. And that'll generally take care of it and make it shift better. And you can actually do that without going through the whole calibration mode. Um, so here we are now, we're on the last clutch, the ninth clutch, which is actually the reverse clutch. 
So when this clutch finishes, the tractor is actually going to back up a little bit. And once that calibration is complete, you, the tractor shakes a little bit too. Uh, it's trying to hold my... So right there, the calibration is complete. And now you just turn the tractor off. Well, pull your throttle back to idle. And shut the tractor off for five seconds. And that saves the calibration. Uh, you have to shut the tractor off because if you don't, the tractor, once you started this calibration mode, the tractor will not move until the key is shut off and restarted, then it'll move. So even if you would go ahead and do that clutch pedal calibration, you could just turn the key off, but the tractor will not move just doing the pedal calibration. So turn the key off, restart the tractor, then it'll move fine after that. Pretty simple process. Uh, this is a common question I get asked how to do, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show everyone how to do it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.